Colorado Creek, first timer, fantastic pedigree, and uh, obviously not uh, not a cheap acquisition. Yeah, she's quite a nice horse, Bon. Um, you know, she she's actually taken some time to strengthen up. When she first arrived at me, she was a weak, small little filly, but uh, I gave her a little bit of a break on the farm after she had arrived, and she's really matured into something quite special. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how she goes. I think she's definitely going to be in need of the run. Um, she hasn't got the best of draws on her side, but I'm just looking for, for a run that's really going to bring her on. The uh, half-sister to Battle of Trafalgar out of a Group 1 winning mare that Mike de Kock trained. What are you expecting from Cullen and Blue? Yeah, um, she's actually a very nice type. I think, I think of her quite highly. She's shown me some very good work at home. Uh, I think she's going to improve a lot from the start and... We'll see how she goes, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a filly that I'm, I've definitely got some expectation, expectations about, uh, but we'll see what happens on race day. Backing up after just a week off the track, Unconditional Love ran commendably. I think she ran fourth under Pierce Stratum at the Vale on Thursday. Yeah, she ran quite a nice race. It just looked like she um, tired out a little bit in the last couple of hundred metres, so maybe in need of the run a bit, but um, she's also doing very well at home. Uh, she's drawn pole position, she's got 57 and a half, uh, Cabela's on her back, so yeah, looking forward to her run. Okay, then uh, Island Beauty, um, she's sort of knocking at the door. Yeah, I, th I think she was a bit unlucky in her last start. Um, unfortunately, there was just no pace in the race by any means, and she got to the front, saw daylight, and when she saw daylight, it was kind of game over. So I wouldn't actually, I'd, I'd put a line through her last start, to be very honest. Um, she's flying at home. She's doing exceptionally well, and I think she's actually going to be a big runner tomorrow. And then your last runner of the day is uh, Field of Vision, um, obviously around the bend. Yeah, she's she's actually been quite disappointing, to be very honest with you, Bon. Um, you know, she came to me, I think, as a merit rate at 75 or 76, and she's dropped 12 pounds in the ratings now, and she still hasn't hasn't really done much. Um, she's been there and thereabouts, but she's not not finishing how I thought she would be. So I'm just looking for improvement from this filly, and hopefully she can come on from it. Well, they say if it works, don't fix it. If it's not working, change something. Have you changed anything? Yeah, I've tried a few different things with this filly now. She is a bit of a, a mouth-sensitive horse, but, um, you know, she, she never really does well out of the pens. Um, I think that's actually where she, she loses all of her ground, really. Um, and then she, she stays on gamely, but she doesn't quite quicken how, how I'd want her to. So I'm just looking forward to improve. I might, might put some blinkers on her tomorrow, so we'll see.